I ask this a lot of people today. What exactly is the Green New Deal? Do you actually know what it is? You usually get a little bit of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez this, a little fossil fuel that, or how do you pay for it, or how many jobs it says it might create. So instead of saying something boring about it, <laughs> we put Sue O'Connell on the job. The Green New Deal. A Green New Deal. Green New Deal. Uh, the Green New Deal. Wow, there is a lot of talk about this Green New Deal. But what is it? Is it a law, is it a bill, or is it something entirely different? Well, the short answer is, it's something else. It's simply a proposal, and it's short, just 14 pages. So let's take a look first, though, about why we're talking about it and why it's so controversial. According to NASA, that's NASA, 97% of actively publishing climate scientists agree that humans are the cause of global warming and climate change. Now, over the past 200 years, the Earth has already warmed one degree Celsius. Now, that may not sound like a very big deal, but scientists are now very concerned about what will happen if the planet warms another 1.5 degrees Celsius. The United Nations issued a report last year saying that the original goal of slowing warming to two degrees Celsius just ain't aggressive enough. Even with just half a degree of warming, millions of people could face life-threatening heat waves, water shortages, coastal flooding. Half a degree of warming could also mean no more coral reefs and no more summer ice in the Arctic. What was the response to last year's report? So in February, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York and Senator Ed Markey of Massachusetts, both Democrats, introduced a framework of what they call a Green New Deal. Now the term New Deal echoes the term New Deal, which was a group of reforms and projects that President Franklin D. Roosevelt introduced during the Great Depression. The New Deal remade America, and the proponents of the Green New Deal hoped to remake the U.S. economy and eliminate all U.S. carbon emissions, all while creating new jobs and boosting the economy. So it's sweeping and it sounds impossible, so let's break it down. The Green New Deal calls for a 10-year national mobilization. It includes meeting 100% of the power demand in the U.S. through a clean, renewable, and zero emission energy sources. But wait, there's more. The Green New Deal wants also to upgrade buildings to become more energy efficient and for farmers to eliminate pollution and to promote access to healthy food. Also, transportation systems have to be overhauled to include electric car charging stations and high-speed rail development. And while achieving this, they want guaranteed jobs with good wages, benefits, and retirement, and deliver health care to all Americans. So although you may just be hearing about the Green New Deal, the ideas have been part of the discussion for progressive Democrats since 2003. So we have this huge society changing legislation on the table. Is it likely to pass? That's a hard no. But climate activists say the value in the Green New Deal is in the conversation it starts. Well, I, you know, I sort of, it, I don't know, is it, it's like Medicare for all in some ways. I, I feel like you're going to talk about this all the way over here and then maybe you get right. something closer to the middle come the election. Although this is not like Medicare for all. They're not talking about the Green New Deal as a central no. democratic platform. But like, the thing platform. about Medicare for all is we can push off our, our insurance as we have. We can kick it down the road like we do with Social Security and other issues. But when it comes to the climate change, we actually need immediate action as quickly as possible. So even though this... Half the country doesn't see it that way. Right, but 99% but of the scientists do. And, you know, when you're sitting with your grandchildren and they ask you what you did about climate change, you can say either, it was too big a problem for us to solve. Can you go walk 10 miles to get us a cup of water? <laughs> or right. you can say, we looked at the Green New Deal. Parts of it aren't, obviously aren't going to fly. And there's the concerns I think that are good to look at in the Green New Deal is that they understand that it's going to impact the economy. Nobody who's, who's proposing a Green New Deal like 
idea is saying it'll be simple, no problems, everyone right. will keep their jobs. They're actually saying we need to remake the way our economy works. Yeah, I, and I think that if they do incremental stuff, I mean, like you have visionaries like Elon Musk who saw the elect electric car as, as something, but then you see, you know, like the, the White House pushing back on G GMs, trying to react to the, the future when it comes to cars, and they're getting pushed back from a lot of different areas. I, I guess I, I just feel like um, human nature is going to make it so it's going to be a crisis that has to be right in front of our right, faces before be. we yeah. react to it, and it could yeah. be too late. So I, I think that, uh, and if you could convince people that they could get that many jobs out of it, maybe they would go with that. It feels like something they wish they had this vision during the Great Recession when we spent hundreds of sure. billions of dollars to repave roads over and over. Yeah, if, pe if people could just try and keep an open mind when they're looking at the Green New Deal and not just dismiss it entirely, because there's a lot of good ideas that we should be doing that are going to happen one way or the other. It just is going to become the issue of who gets to enjoy it, right? Is all it right. only going to be the wealthy who get to enjoy the benefits of the Green New Deal, or will all Americans and everybody on the earth get to?